Hello, Captains, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek Online. My Romulan faction character, Omega, playing as a tactical officer. In the last video, number 51, we have begun to replay or continue this playthrough. It's going to be very exciting. I'm excited. And uh, in that one, we covered the two TFOs that we needed to cover for this new playthrough because of changes they made to the game layout and everything. So we covered that and we're up to date with the latest missions and now we can get on with the factory, which is today's mission. Now, uh, before we get into all that, just a quick uh, little thing here. Uh, I am still tweaking the audio here, the volume of the microphone and the game volume and the music volume, all that junk together. In the last video, I know it was very quiet during the battle scenes. I apologize for that. You could not hear my voice. Uh, that was because the FX in the game were so much louder than my voice volume, and it just overshot it. So uh, I apologize for that. I think I have fixed that in this video. So let me know if you can hear me well while battle scenes are going on, and there's a lot of noise in that in those areas. Otherwise, hopefully I've fixed also, the volume of the microphone, it should be a little bit louder uh, and easier to hear. So hopefully that will be good moving forward. Let me know about that volume. Okie dokie. Now, one other change I made to this character is I went ahead and did a little bit of re-engineering. I had enough salvage and dilithium to do some of that re-engineering I was talking about on my weapons. So since the last video, I have been able to re-engineer most of my weapons. I now have, as you can see, one crit D and two damage on all of them. So there we go. One crit D and two damage on everything. And then in the turrets, the same as well. One crit D and two damage. Except for this last one, I ran out of resources, so I still need more salvage and dilithium for it. But most of my weapons are now two damage and one crit D. And I'm going to continue along that theme. When they're upgraded to the next quality level, it'll be three damage and one crit D. And I think eventually four damage when I get to epic. So that's what I'm looking at on the re-engineering of them. And I just wanted to let you know I did do that since the last episode. And so maybe they should be a little bit more powerful now than they were before. Hoping at least. We will see if there's any differences. The quality level, I mean, the uh, mark levels are still the same. I still only got like mark 10 here. So I can't quite upgrade the quality level or the mark level on them just yet. But I'm going to work toward that end because that's the next thing. I need to get the mark levels, you know, leveled up. Another thing I have begun to do is to go ahead and continue and start doing the Admiralty and the Doffs. So, yeah, oh, this one failed. That sucks. Anyway, what that means is since I'm going to be doing the Admiralty now and the Doff system, um, I might start leveling up a little bit faster than I was before. For example, we'll acknowledge that one. But if I do collect rewards on that and collect rewards on that, you'll see how much it's already leveled me up just doing that. And uh, now I'm level three in the Federation. And then when I do Doffs, like I got one completed here, leveled me up a little bit more. So I'm gonna continue to do that because I need to get leveled up in those systems and I want to be leveled up in those systems. But that means it's going to level me up in the main skill level here, just a little bit faster than it normally would because of that. But I need to work on those things anyway. Okie dokie, and so now let's play the factory. I've already actually added it to my mission, but it's right under uh, Cardassian Struggle, and it's the next one after Jabberwocky. Have you investigated the facility? How can no, I? No, I can't reread the thingy, so. Well, maybe I can. Let's see. The factory. The pad you discovered on Gold Kardak revealed the location of a secret facility in the Alpha Quadrant. There appears to be some kind of alliance between the True Way and the Dominion. We can now not allow them to join forces. So I need to go to... I am in the wrong part of space. I need to go to DS9. And that's going to take me a while unless I can transwarp there. And I don't think I can. No, I have to travel the long way around. Actually, I'll tell you what. I don't have to. I can transwarp straight there. So let's just do that. Oh, 
Otherwise, it would take me so long to fly there, and I just don't want to wait. So, let's begin the factory. Now, as somebody else mentioned uh, previously, we need to be careful because the they like to use maybe the Jim. Well, these are the Jim Hadar. The Cardassians like to use feedback poles, but I don't know about the Jim Hadar. So, we should be okay, right? Warning: ship is under attack. Target shields have failed. Oh, look at that! I am tearing right through them. That was pretty sweet. I mean, yeah, they did some damage to me, but man, I tore right through them. Absolutely no problem. I think uh, doing those modifications on the weapons really did help. Warning, ship is under attack. Four shields failing. Hull integrity oh yeah, I think he might have used feedback pulse on me. Oh shoot. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't, yeah, Feedback Pulse 3, there it is, confirmed. The Galar class is using Feedback Pulse 3, and I, like a dummy, flew right in there and shot all of my stuff right at him, full power, and killed myself because he's using Feedback Pulse 3. What a dummy! What a dummy. I am a dummy. Okay, so don't do that. When he shoots Feedback Pulse 3 on you, don't fire your whole load at him. I gotta watch for it. I guess, what is it? Like a little beam that should hit me, maybe? Warning. Ship is under attack. I'm good right now. He hasn't done it yet. Four shields failing. Target shields have failed. Still, still good, still good, still good. I, I got some damage though. I have some permanent damage. Four shields failing. I wasn't aware of that. I have auxiliary damage. That ain't good. I will have to take care of that later. Okay, so yeah. The Cardassians love their feedback pulse. Gotta remember that. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target shields have failed. Come on, let's get this Jem'Hadar battleship out of the way. Four shields failing. Hull integrity below 75%. He's pretty tough. Hull integrity okay, below now 50%. I'm taking a lot of damage, so I'm going to pull Target out. I am going to pull Rear back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. Uh, we can't pull back fast enough, can we? Uh, it's going to hurt. Right shields failing. Left shields failing. Ah, uh, there we go. Got out of his range. I was hurting so badly there, I needed to get out of his range. Got him to half health, so we're good. Remember, I'm on advanced difficulty in these missions, so they are a lot more difficult than they normally would be. So just keep that in mind. That's why it seems difficult for my ship, is because it is more difficult. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target shields have failed. Now I got him. Now I got him. I got him. I got him. There he goes. Come on. There we are. There we are. All right. Good. That's what I needed. Now we can beam down. All right. Let's look for a place to beam down. Oh, we have to repel. Okay. And go. Wee. 
I like how my bridge officer team is already waiting for me on the ground, like... How did they get there so fast? Guess they're magic. Of course, magic bridge officers. I forgot what my ground setup was on this character, you know that? I need to kind of look at him, he's tactical. What do I have here? I have some kind of orbital thing. What is this exactly? This is not showing me the tooltip. I must have the tooltips turned off. What power do I have? Let me just check my gear. I forgot what I have here. I have the neutronium laced armor. I am also using a personal shield capacity, just a regular personal shield. Uh, I've got the staff weapon, of course. This is a um, proto matter M munition. Oh, proto matter. Okay, Lucari stuff. Five proto matter strikes from space, I guess. Does kinetic and radiation damage. Oh, yes, I've also got a stasis drone. Kind of does a fragile hold on him. Okie dokie. So, a couple of universal modules. That's cool. Let's do that stasis thing and see how it works. So, it just puts him in a fragile hold. I mean, that's really not a big deal. Trying to get all the loot because, of course, I need the salvage and everything to, um... What the heck? I am running into invisible mines. I need the salvage and all that, of course, to get the... Oh, re-engineer everything. Dang, come on, guys. I probably need to work on the build of my uh, bridge officers, too. Okay, area secure, detecting Jem'Hadar and Vorta. Tell you what I'm going to do real quick, guys. This is a little bit of an experiment. I'm just going to go ahead and leave this in there, too, so uh, you guys see what I have to do sometimes. It's kind of loud in this environment. I don't know if you can tell, but in the uh, actual game here, this factory that we're in has a loud ambient sound. So one of those kind of things I have to adjust with the volumes is under options there is an ambient volume. See if I turn that down, if I turn that all the way down the room gets very quiet you see. Here it is all the way up. Very loud ambient noise. So I might adjust this back just a little, a little bit, excuse me, from where it was. Because I think that room was just a little bit loud in the ambient volume department. So, yeah, I think that's a little bit better on the audio there with that ambient volume turned down. So let's continue on with that and see what happens. You can still hear the ambient volume, it's just not as bad. All right, take these guys out. I just noticed my bridge officers have re rebreathers on, <laughs> that's funny. Um, I do want to use this protomatter bombardment thing. Greetings. I am very glad to meet you. I am Naaman, a Vorta scientist and servant of the Founders and the Dominion, of course. You are pleased to see us? Oh my, yes. I have a proposition to which I hope you shall be amenable. I serve a Founder named Loss. He is one of 100 Founders sent here to the Alpha Quadrant. His actions have placed me in a bit of a moral conundrum that I hope you can help me unravel. I didn't realize you had morals. Loss was the first of these Alpha Quadrant Founders to emerge. He located and gathered the others into a new Great Link. However, he has not seen fit to tell these Founders that the war with the Dominion is over and that the Great Link is alive and well in the Gamma Quadrant. 
Instead, he has convinced them that you solids exterminated the Great Link and are attempting to exterminate these founders as well. I see. Let's go over this dialogue so we can learn about this because we will have to deal with loss in a future mission. Uh, also, let me know if the music volume is now a problem or not because I was noticing while I was listening to him talk, the music that was playing seemed a bit loud in my headphones, but I don't know what that's going to sound like on playback and compared to my voice volume. So. Let me know if the music is now too loud or not, uh, because I can adjust the music itself separately as well. Why do you continue to serve loss? Betrayal is such an ugly I word. actually clicked the wrong button. I prefer to think of I our arrangement double as a too fast creative there. solution. Several reasons. First, even if I do not agree with him, he is a god. Second, he is my only link to the other founders here. Finally, his Gem Hadar are fanatically loyal and watch me constantly. Although you seem to have mm. mitigated Indeed I have. that issue. If you serve Loss, why have you chosen to betray him? Betrayal is such an ugly word. I prefer to think of our arrangement as a creative solution to a difficult problem. But semantics aside, I do not feel so much that I am betraying Loss as liberating the other 98 ah, founders okay. and serving the Dominion and the founders. I do not believe they would want these Alpha Quadrant founders to be ignorant of the truth. I also fear that if Loss continues his plans, it could result in the death of founders. The morphogenic virus still lives in the memory uh, and I do of the remember Dominion. that. Okay, what do you do here? My job is to supervise the Ketracel White production. While the Gem Hadar are mighty warriors, they are not the greatest scientists, nor do we wish them to have the secret of Ketracel White production. All right, what's this deal you propose? Loss keeps me away from the new Link. They have been raised on his deceits, and so will be utterly convinced that you are attempting to exterminate them. I believe we can help each other. You can free me and take me to the new Link where I can explain to the Founders the truth, that the Dominion still exists, and that you are not hunting them to extinction. Uh-huh, what's the catch? Oh, I do not like the word catch. It sounds so mercenary. But yes, my price is Loss's life. After I reveal the truth to the new Link, you must allow them to mete out their justice. I cannot jeopardize the life of a founder under any circumstances. All right, come with us. The area ahead appears to be some kind of command center. I'm detecting Cardassians and Jem'Hadar. I'll be Jem glad to get out of here. These Alpha Jem'Hadar don't understand the proper respect owed to a Vorta. Ah, here we go. Yeah, I don't see how the stasis field is really helping me that much. I'll probably get rid of that universal console and put something else in its place. I wanted to try it out, but it doesn't really do anything for me. So I'll probably end up replacing it. I want more of an active kind of weapon. You know what I mean? So there are certainly uh, many other universal consoles out there to try. Which way do we go? This way? Uh oh, cutscene. Intruders! I'll put up a force field! You dump the data! <laughs> he runs sideways, falling over. Let's do this thingy. I want to try this proto matter thingy. We've got to stop the first before okay, he well, deletes yeah, all the I, data. I guess it really only helps if people are standing right where it hits them. Otherwise, it doesn't do much, does it? Okay, so yeah, that's kind of a waste, wasted power if I'm not like actively. Oh, and I'm dead. 
So, okay, yeah. That, that, the thing is cool, but they have to be right where it hits in order to make a difference. So that's dumb. <laughs> it probably does a lot of damage, but they have to be... They can't move from where it's going to hit them. I'll try it again here in a second. So we've got to deal with an ambush here. Defeat the leaders. This goal is easy, but this guy is probably not. Jim had our first. Use my psionic powers on them. I need to use them more often because I forget I have them. Freeze them. Yeah, that whole thing doesn't work well. It is only a fragile hold, so. Excellent. Not very great. I shall retrieve the coordinates. I'm thinking about getting that that explosive drone that drone that goes up and will attack an enemy and then it explodes it's a universal console you can get that will probably be more useful and it's an active weapon all right see so like these guys are standing there can i use this now enemy targets on no they moved away again mm, arg Are so good. Get this loot. Let's use this again on those people over there. Will it work? Maybe a little? Hard to tell. Not really. I think I'll probably end up replacing both of those universal consoles. Speak to Neiman. Which is where? Where are you being, Eamon? Are you over here? I have the data. It will take some time to decrypt, but I recommend we depart as quickly as possible. Place charge in the command center and then we can leave. Beam up. And blow this place, literally. Detonate. Bye-bye. No more catch yourself white for you. You are so quick to blow things up. Yes, Such I am. Such a waste. Yes, yes, that I am. That factory might have come in handy someday. Maybe. But not anymore, because I blew it up. Shields have failed. Wow, that little thing will not die. 
Four shields failing. These are just light ships. Why are light ships giving me so much trouble? Jeez. Target's shields have failed. I think I really, really seem to have angered the gem I really need to upgrade the uh, mark course, level. They always seem a bit angry, don't you think? Okay, now we have attack ships. That's even worse for me. Okay, time to get some power going here. Meet me. Ship is under attack. Target shield has failed. Four shields failing. Okay, we got a Galler, so be careful. So he uses a feedback pulse on me. He hadn't done it yet. Target shield has failed. Ah, uh, yeah. Do that. <laughs> I don't do that enough. I need to use those abilities more. Right, his shields are failing. Oh, that means my shields are failing. Oops. <laughs> also not good. What? Come on, really? Jeez, they're really giving me a run for my money. Man, I got to take care of this damage. I do not like having damage. I have completed the decryption of the data we recovered. The new link appears to lie in the Orias system. I have transferred the coordinates to your helm. I want to thank you for your service to the Dominion. I also want to remind you of our agreement, namely that Loss, or any other founder for that matter, is not to be killed by you. I remember. I hope I don't come to regret making this arrangement. Depart system. Okay, let's turn this in. Congratulations on destroying the facility. That should cripple the Alpha Gem Hadar for the time being. But we need to make contact with this new link. Hopefully Naaman can convince them of the truth before it's too late. Keep a close eye on him. We may have a treaty with the Dominion, but that doesn't mean I trust them. Abortus' first loyalty will always be to the Founders. Why is Sarish Mina talking to us? Aren't we on the KDF? Uh, I'm aligned with the KDF on this character. I should be talking to the KDF contact. How can I help? Congratulations, Admiral. No, I'm... Wait a minute. I thought I was aligned. Well, I'm, yeah, I am, I am aligned with the KDF. Because I can go to Kronos. Yeah. Okay, I had to double check what I was for a second there. I had forgotten. Hey, it's been a while. Okay, uh, now I'm level 62. And at 62, any single bridge offer, officer specialization manual is the reward for 62. So that's what I am. I'm going to go ahead and take care of this damage real quick um, on Kronos. Because I don't like having it before we do the next mission. I cannot have that damage. And I also want to see what reward I got. What did I get? I got... Ooh, okay. This is the specialization stuff I can pick. I'm not ready to pick it yet because I don't know what I'm going to need. So we'll keep it and I'll pick one later. Uh, first city. 
And let's go to the shipyard and repair my ship damage so I can do the next mission. And then we'll look at my kit reward that I just got. I did a one of the career specific kit rewards. Fix that up. That is good. Ready to go for the next mission. And let's see. We got just a regular stun grenade, so that was useless. And a tactical kit frame that I don't need, so that was useless. So this uh, bridge officer specialization stuff, I'm definitely going to save for later because... Um, don't know what I'm going to need yet, but I'll be able to pick from, like, Command, Intelligence, Miracle Worker, Pilot, or Temporal Operative as I need it. So that's a very cool reward. Love that reward. But I will wait and see what I need in the future. I need to salvage all this gear, but I'm not going to do it right now. I want to play one more mission for the week and get that done. And I guess that will be under the Cardassian Struggle. That will be the new link. And then we'll be ready for the new Task Force Operation Cardassian Struggle after that. Okie dokie. Alright, thank you all for watching this episode. Stay tuned for the next one.